Good morning students I am Vidya from GK Jain School now I am going to teach you lesson heat from class 8 in the previous video itself we have been discussed what are the effects of heat when we give heat energy to the particular substance the physical change will occur uh, for example the solid state of matter will change as a liquid state and liquid state of matter will change as a uh, gaseous state so there are so many things happen when we give heat when we supply heat energy to the substance so these are the things only the physical changes so apart from that the chemical changes also will occur when we give heat energy to the substance so what are the chemical changes that we will discuss in this video and if we want to know more things about the physical changes and chemical changes what are what are the things take place in a substance we have to measure the amount of heat which is involved in that which is involved in the uh, process like chemical and physical so that uh, measurement the technique used to measure the amount of heat involved in physical and chemical process is known as calorimetry calorimetry what does mean by calorimetry a techniques which is uh, measure that that is a measurement to find out how much amount of heat involved in chemical and uh, physical process okay then temperature temperature is a physical quantity to measure the substance whether it has cold or hot so if we want to measure how much cold it has or how much heat it has we have to measure it using thermometer so that thing is called that physical quantity is known as temperature we can measure the temperature in three different scale one is celsius and another one is fahrenheit and third one is kelvin here the kelvin is the most commonly used uh, measurement then you unit of heat how does we uh, measure what is the unit of heat joule so we know already heat is a form of energy what is the unit of energy the si unit of energy is joule since the heat also a, a type of energy the heat uh, the unit of heat energy is also joule and also it is expressed in the unit of calorie here what is the relation between the calorie and joule here one calorie is equal to 4.186 joule so this is what the relation between the joule and calorie so one calorie is equal to 4.186 joule so the most common is a unit of heat energy is calorie so this is the most commonly used unit of heat energy and uh, the most uh, Uh, commonly used uh, temperature scale is kelvin and next one is heat capacity what is mean by heat capacity uh, we have to measure the thing amount of heat which is gained or lost by a substance so that is what heat capacity if i take one bucket of water and one uh, swimming pool okay in which uh, water has more heat capacity obviously the heat capacity of the swimming pool water will be more so with the, uh, according to the mass depends on the mass the heat capacity will get changed and the heat capacity also defined as the amount of heat energy required to rise 1 gram of water through 1 degree celsius okay so again i tell you the heat capacity is defined as amount of heat energy required to rise 1 gram of water through 1 degree celsius so that is called as heat capacity but this heat ca capacity determined by three factors one is mass of the substance and change in temperature then nature of materials of substance so already i told you uh, depends on the mass of the substance the heat capacity will change uh, in case of uh, one bucket of water and one sw swimming pool of water so we took the example for the mass of the substance the heat capacity will vary uh, according to the mass mass of the water the next one is change in temperature 
for the changes in temperature i given one activity uh, one container if you take uh, water and another container if you take oil cooking oil means you have to supply same amount of heat energy to the uh, two container okay in which one will get heated first obviously the oil will get heated first comparing to the water so here what will you know what you get understand the changes in temperature of a substance will get vary depends on the substance that means it, it the temperature will get rise depends on the substance okay so that heat capacity also determined by the changes in temperature pressure and nature of the material of substance nature of the material of substance means for the metal and plastic which one will have the more heat capacity which material will gain more heat in case of metal metal gain more heat comparing with the plastic the heat capacity is ratio of amount of heat energy to change in temperature so that amount of heat energy we can denoted as q and change in temperature del t then so for example so the formula is q divided by del t if i want to solve one problem for example the metal ball has the temperature of 30 degree celsius okay then if i uh, give heat energy for 3000 joules the 3000 joules of heat energy if i uh, given to the metal ball and after that gained energy the temperature will be 40 degree celsius okay then you have to find out how much what are what is the heat capacity of the metal ball so how will you find out so heat capacity we know already it is denoted as c dash so how to find out that so what is the formula here q divided by del t okay then what is the q that energy what we supply to the metal ball 3000 joule okay then del t means changes in temperature initially what is the temperature 30 degree and after gained energy the temperature will gets rise as 40 degree celsius okay then del t is equal to t2 T one so forty degree Celsius minus thirty degree Celsius so ten degree if I say subtract forty minus thirty ten degree Celsius I can take it as a ten Kelvin okay so here you have to substitute um ten okay then minus three hundred So what is the unit of this heat capacity? So what is the unit of uh, uh, heat energy? As we know already, joule. Then what is the unit of uh, temperature? Kelvin. Okay. Then joule per kelvin. So this is what heat capacity. So likewise, by using this formula, we can find out how much heat energy and what is the temperature gained by the heat energy. and what is the heat capacity with this two uh, values okay so we can use this formula to find out the three factors which is involved in that then next one is specific heat capacity the specific heat capacity is the nothing but when the heat capacity is expressed in the unit mass is known as heat capacity specific heat capacity and the specific is heat capacity also defined as how much heat the amount of heat energy required to rise 1 kg of substance through 1 degree celsius or 1 kelvin is known as specific heat capacity so already we know what is the heat capacity formula c dash equal to q divided by del t so this is heat capacity heat capacity and here this specific heat capacity is denoted as c so what is the formula it is that heat capacity is expressed in the unit of mass so only you are going to add one term that is q 
क्यू डिवाइडेड बाई एम इंटर डेल्टी सो दिस एम इज डिनोटेड मास ऑफ द सब्सटेंस मास ऑफ द सब्सटेंस सो डिड यू गेट अंडरस्टैंड सो वॉट इज मीन बाई स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी नथिंग बट heat capacity only but when it is expressed in the term of unit mass it is called as specific heat capacity okay students i hope this class will be very useful for you all if you want more updates on educational videos don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel gkj thank you Subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update